प्रलय पय सि धा सप्त सुखे मुखेभ्य श्रुतिगणनापनीत प्रत्युपादत हवा दिज अकथदया यो ब्रह्म सत्यव्रता तमहम अखिल हेतु जिहिम मीनम न तो अस्मी I offer my respectful obeisances unto the supreme personality Godhead, who pretended to be a gigantic fish, who restored the Vedic literature to Lord Brahma when Lord Brahma awakened from sleep, and who explained the essence of Vedic literature to the King Satyavrata and the great saintly persons. So we have to. some instructions from this first thing we can learn from here is that you see the meditation of shila prabhupad he is saying he is writing the purport to bhagavatam on the order of his guru he is such a great acharya he had thousands of disciples around the world he has millions of well wishers he has millions of well wishers but at the same time it's always i am working on the order of my guru our whole day should be governed like that why i'm getting up in the morning because prabhupa said so I'm chanting Hare Krishna because Prabhupada said so. I'm hearing Bhagavatam because Prabhupada said so. And whole day I'm doing devotion service because Prabhupada said so. Prabhupada is teaching is by his own example. it's not that he is not following anybody and telling you to follow him he is following his spiritual master we can see how much he is meditating on that he is finished his, he has finished the seventh eighth canto even noting the date This is September nineteen seventy six. Radhas to me. This is forty three years ago. And Delhi, he's noting everything. No, that Delhi that time was a small center. Prabhupada had installed the deities. New temple had not come up. So Prabhupada says when you are chanting Hare Krishna and you are meditating that I am chanting in the order of my Guru. That is pure chanting. Prabhupada told me to chant. Now ten rounds are remaining. Now nine rounds are remaining. I finished the order of Shri Prabhupada. that is pure chanting proper says any devotion service done on the order of guru becomes pure just like we are offering bhoga we remember guru and prabhupan krishna accepts our offering it becomes pure But when you do on your own then it will be just on the your quality of offering but when it is done on the order of the great acharya 
then it uh, it it comes to spiritual platform so any initiative we take should be an order proper says even lord shiva has no independent initiative we don't make any independent plans i have been told like this when the war was over yudhishthira maharaj did not take up the throne he felt he is not qualified rather he thought he is a great sinner who should go to hell krishna ordered him to rule krishna ordered him to become the king vedavyasa ordered him to become the king bhishma ordered him to become the king and finally dhritarashtra ordered him to become the king when he got the orders from these four people then he sat on the throne and is always meditating that i have been ordered to do this and i am doing because i have been ordered he had no attachment to the post when he came to know that krishna has left the planet yudhishthira maharaj just walked out of the palace he did not even look at the pandavas the brothers who were there with him through all the life he did not even look at his wife draupadi or his kingdom just walked away because he was only ruling on the order he had no attachment okay so this is a highest class of service we should develop once bhaksanda prabhu was sitting on vyasasan it was the day of vyas puja and some people were very upset because a great worship was going on bhaksanda prabhu could see some, some people are upset with it disciples were enjoying but some guests were finding it strange they are finding it strange the why a man should he worship like this so after the vyas puja was over bhaksana prabhat gave a class so he said some of you may be finding why i'm taking worship like this i am he said i am sitting on the vyasasan on the order of my guru and his name is his holiness uh, is divine grace gaur krishna gaur krishna das baba ji maharaj and my guru is so great that one dust from his lotus feet can deliver the universe so we can see this is how the devotion service is done when anything is done by our own initiator it may be wrong there is no spiritual empowerment behind it on and on top of the all any independent initiative is always pushed by false ego it's our ahankara i want to show to the world this i want to show to other people i am capable see i am so i am capable 
But devotee's attitude is different. He is only meditates, I have been told to do this. That is the way of spiritual life. So that is the first lesson we get from this. The second lesson is that Krishna does Krishna does such wonderful pastimes. And all these wonderful pastimes give us a subject matter for hearing. Krishna's pastimes are all pure. And when we hear the pastimes of Krishna, we get purified. We see that there is, uh, there is so much Shruti Phala mentioned here. Shruti Phala means benefit of hearing. It says whoever hears Masya Avatara Katha will have all his desires fulfilled. And he will go back to Godhead. But we are not so intelligent. Instead of hearing Krishna Katha, we hear Grama Katha. What is the benefit of that hearing? By that hearing we go to hell. So the choice is there at every moment. You can hear Krishna Katha. Books are already there. Even whole life we cannot read these books. On the other side, we have Grama Katha coming from internet, TV, mobile, and ordinary people. So every moment the test is there. Those who are spiritualist, who want to go to Krishna, they hear Krishna Katha. And those who want to remain in the material world, they hear Grama Katha. Every moment the choice is there. We discussed on this many times. So this is the second point. We should be intelligent and take advantage of Krishna Katha. And then the next point is about the next point is about Satyavrata Nam. Satyavrata was so fortunate Krishna personally spoke to him. So Prabhupada is mentioning that anybody on the same platform can also get instruction from Krishna. Krishna is the father of all the living entities. How can he be partial? He has to be equal to all. He personally guided Satyavrata. Gave him all the spiritual knowledge. And totally spiritually illuminated him. The so same way. Krishna can also guide us. And he says that in Bhagavad Gita. Yesham sata yukta nam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena maam upayantite that those who are constantly engaged in devotional service. Satata yukta nam. Satata yukta nam means constantly engaged in devotional service. Bhajatam priti purvakam. Priti means very favorably trying to please Krishna. Dadami buddhi yogam tam. Krishna to them gives spiritual knowledge. By which they can come to him. And by attaining the spiritual knowledge they can go to Krishna. 
So we should be fortunate actually. And to become fortunate, to receive spiritual knowledge, we have to endeavor. Okay. So endeavor is very much needed. Only by our sincere endeavor, we attract the mercy of Krishna. So Satya, if you want to become fortunate like Satyavrata, that Krishna personally guides you, we have to pick, we have to endeavor. Just like when somebody is distributing prasadam, we have to raise our hand. That much we have to do, effort. Krishna is giving mercy, but we have to bring our hand forward. Little endeavor is there. Okay. We don't expect Krishna to put in your pocket. Then he will be partial to you. Okay, so we, that effort is very much needed. So the essence of the message of Gita and Bhagavatam is very simple. The essence of the message of Gita and Bhagavatam is very simple. That we are part and parcel of Krishna. Just like a finger is part and parcel of the body. And it is the business of the finger to serve the body. But if it is not serving, that is the unhealthy condition of the finger. The same way, today we are not serving Krishna. Therefore, we are not in a healthy condition. Just like when you are not healthy, we have fever. And then there is suffering. So because we are suffering, that's a proof of our unhealthy condition. Pure devotee has no suffering. He is very happy. Because he is healthy. Suffering means unhealthy. And very kindly Krishna has given this Bhagavatam. And we take advantage. Here in the Guru Parampara we have got a solid boat. We should take advantage and go to Krishna. Bhagavatam says boat uh, made of stone will not float. So we should not get distracted to the bogus gurus who cannot help their disciples to reach the ultimate goal of life. Just like in the market there is original gold and there is also duplicate gold. Those who get duplicate gold are cheated. The same way those people who follow a bogus guru, they are also cheated. And at the end of neither the guru nor the disciple reach Krishna's lotus feet. Our business is not to become so-called popular person in this world. We see so many politicians become popular. And then they are caught tomorrow doing some illicit activity. And they become unpopular. So, so called this popularity, in popularity of the world has no value. Prabhupada used to say, keep the sun of Krishna shining. All these bogus gurus are like glow worms. 
they are only interesting to people who cannot see the son of krishna just like only in the darkness the glow worms light is visible the same way for the people in krishna consciousness this bogus gurus are of no interest because they are not giving paro dharma they are not teaching transcendental religion they are only teaching upadharma kaitava dharma chala dharma dharma bhas other by following all that nobody can make any spiritual advancement when shila prabhas was in india they are shila prabhas did he have meeting with this baba that ananda so prabhas said why should i waste my time meeting all these bogus people i am taking information from krishna through guru parampara what benefit i'll i get wasting my time with this bogus people before hearing anybody we should always see what is the qualification of the person who is his guru which guru parampara is he following what bhashya vedanta is he following if if you are not sure of that we should not risk our time sometime people show a video of the so called popular gurus and ask us whether he spoke correct or wrong it is like in a dustbin searching for something of value why we waste our time there is hardly any time life is very short here we getting instruction directly from krishna coming through the bona fide acharyas we should firmly sit on this boat and in this boat we would we don't know other people who are sitting other people sitting on the boat are not our relatives just like you're traveling uh, on a plane the other passengers are not your relatives they may be behaving properly they may not be behaving properly what i have to do with all that just because some fellow passenger is not behaving properly i don't get out of the plane i should not forget my business 